Today, folks, let's have a look at French accents, okay, as in the little dash that you put on top of the E and the A and the I and so on, and not as in the French accent. <laughs> What I'd like you to do is have a look at the accents we have in French. Well, we have a few, okay, but I'd like to concentrate on two accents today, okay? So that's why I've titled The French Accent Part 1. Okay, let's have a look. Now, as you may be familiar when you read French, you may have noticed that at top, on top of the E, you have a little dash, okay? This is called an accent. Okay, an accent. And you may have noticed as well that sometimes it goes one way and sometimes it goes the other way. Okay, well, it has a purpose. Okay, it means something. So, if you see it, you need to write it properly. Okay, and you need to read it properly too. Because the reason why they are on top of the E would be to change the sound, okay? Let's concentrate on the accent aigu or acute accent and not acute accent, by the way. Now, the accent aigu looks like this. Ding! Okay, now it looks like this. It has an E and a dash, okay? That goes from the left up to the right. Now, the accent aigu has this sound. E. E. Can you say that? E. Okay. Now you will find the accent aigu in words such as le bébé, the baby, le bébé. Okay. Or you could find it in l'été, l'été, and that's the summer, l'été. You could find it in le café, le café, or l'épaule, and that's the shoulder, l'épaule. Paul, okay, you can find it in poésie, poésie, okay, and that's poetry. And uh, you have also, look at this one, it has a double accent aigu, créé, créé, and that means created, okay, créé. So you can have two uh, uh, with an accent aigu next to each other, okay? So, that is my first accent, the accent aigu, the one that everybody knows as long as you know how to pronounce it, which is E. Now, what is the other accent I'd like to teach you today? Remember, there are a few, okay? But I'm concentrating on these two today. Well, you have the accent grave or grave accent, okay? The accent grave is the other direction. So it starts from the right and go towards the left, okay? The accent grave is E, E. Now, if you compare E and E, two different sounds, okay? E and E. So the accent grave is E. Now, you will also find the accent grave on the a, which is a A, and a U, which is a U as well. So watch out for that. But the A and a U sound will not change if you have the accent grave, okay? But it will change if you put it on the E, if that is clear. Now you will find the accent grave on words such as le frère, that's the brother, le père, that's the father, la Mère, that's the mother. You will find it also on très, which is very, très, très. You would find it on crème, which is the cream, okay? Crème, okay? You will find it on a, which is an a with this accent, which means a. Oh, pff, it doesn't, it means at, okay, or to, okay? Or you would find it on ou, o, u, accent. Now watch out here because, and it tells you uh, that two words of uh, same sound, okay, we call them uh, homonym, I think, homonym, yeah, uh, that uh, means two different things. So the ou, where you have an accent grave on top of the u means where, that means where is it, and the ou, where there is no accent grave, grave means or, okay, or coffee or milk for example, okay, café ou lait, okay? So, what you need to know, 
that sometimes you can find the two accents in the same word. So one accent aigu and one accent grave. And you need to take that in consideration because the sound changed then. Okay, so you will find that in the uh, common noun, uh, the proper noun, sorry, Helen. Now, Helen in French is Hélène. Hélène. Now, have a look at that. E, accent aigu, len, n, accent grave. Okay. You will find also this word in élève. Élève, the two sounds, two different sounds, but yet we are using an e every time. So, élève means pupils. Okay, pupil. Okay. Uh, éphémère. Éphémère, which means uh, ephemeral. Do you say ephemeral, Adam? Which means, which doesn't last. It's éphémère. You will find that there are two accents aigus and then suddenly an accent grave. Éphémère. Okay, I'm changing the sound here. Another one, légère. That means light. Okay, feminine word. Uh, légère here in that case. You will find it in déjà. Déjà. Already. Have a look. There is an accent aigu on the E and an accent grave on the A. Déjà. Or you will find it on décès. Décès, which means deceased or it's, it's death in effect. Okay, le décès. Okay, so what I'd like to finish now and a little recap, okay, before I do that, is that we have two accents, main accents. Remember, this is part one and there is another lesson coming up on other accents. You will find the accent aigu. Okay, which is this one, and we pronounce it I. And you will find the accent grave, which is this one, and we pronounce it E. Okay, which you will find also on the A and the U, but the pronunciation does not change. Okay, let's have a look at this sentence, which I've just made up, which is mad, I tell you, but hey, it shows you the use of accents. Here we are. En été, le père du bébé boit du café avec de la crème légère avec son élève nommé Hélène. Ils écrivent des poèmes. Now, this is a bit mad, but have a look. En été, can you read with me? No, no, seriously, can you? Ok, thanks. En été, well done. Le père du bébé Bois du café avec de la crème légère avec son élève nommé Hélène. Ils écrivent des poèmes. Okay, now I'm just showing you that we have different sounds if you put a different accent on top of the E. Now, en été, in the summer, le père du bébé, the father of the baby, boit du café, drinks coffee, avec de la crème légère, with light cream, avec son élève nommé Hélène, with his pupil called Helen. Ils écrivent des poèmes and they write poetry or poems together, ensemble, together. Okay, so I hope this first lesson on accent was useful to you and you've always wondered what this accent meant. Well, there you are. I've tried to explain you as uh, clearly as possible and I hope I have done just that. Remember, if there is no accent, the sound will remain uh. That's it for me. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a look at the other lessons numbered. They are really cool. And uh, why don't you have a look at my website, learnfrenchwithalexa.com, where I teach you with uh, lots and lots and lots of material. Uh, and I teach you French and take the French to a higher level. Okay. And I have a Patreon page as well. Have a look at the Patreon page. That's it for me. Au revoir. Bisous, bisous.